seems legit. Hey, hey, legitimates. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're not doing sewing, even though I'm sitting in the sewing room. We are playing with the laser to make these really cute little bookmarks. So I did this one just in wood. Um, and then this one we have painted and then engraved. It's got a hole at the top. I just, I didn't have a color that matched that. I didn't really think that through. But I might just get some ribbon and feed that through the top. Uh, but if you would like to see how to make these, please stay tuned. Okay, so as always, we are in light burn and I am just drawing a rectangle of any size. You can see here now I can adjust the numbers. Uh, so you can either lock it to be that shape and just pick one, or you can unlock it and make it exactly the rectangle that you want. This is too small, by the way. Um, I realized this later. I'm not really paying attention to numbers properly when I was measuring my piece of wood. Uh, but we need to design it as a line, not a fill, because we're going to want this to cut. Now, this little tool here does the corners, but as you can see, for this little bookmark, that corner was too big, so I've made it a bit smaller. And you can just click on the corners, and it curves them for us. Now, I could have left it as a sharp cornered one. I just didn't want to. You can also see that that is not center, so I'm going to select both by hitting the Shift key, clicking on both, and then click Center it. You can move it up and down if you want to. Um, I'm moving it a little bit closer to the edge and that works for me. The hole was possibly too big. You might want to make it a little bit smaller than me. But again, like it's your design. So now we're going to type in a word. Obviously that word's too big. We're going to make it a different color. And you can see I can just drag it to different sizes. And now I have to pick a font. Fonts are always the hardest bit for me. And then you just want to also make sure it's going to um, fit in your thing. Now I'm doing each part of the words different so that if I do them separately, then I can have them all different fonts if I want to. And you'll see here it takes me a really long time to pick a font. I'm very indecisive when it comes to fonts. Uh, so when people come and ask me for a custom order, they have to go pick the font because sometimes I just really struggle. Like you can see me still going. Uh, most of these would have worked fine. I just wanted it a bit different to the other one. That was all. Um, so I'm just going to move that up there. So this is what I've got. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so it fits. I'm using the wheel of my mouse to scroll in and out, by the way. Um, and so now what I'm going to do is make a smaller rectangle and I'm just going to have it as a line. Now there was a couple of ways I could have done this. I was trying to do it, see how you get like the thick part. I was trying to do it like that, um, which I possibly could have done. And then I thought, oh, maybe I could just do like an outliney bit, but that wasn't working either. So I did try a bunch of different stuff to try and get this to just give me like a thick line was what I was aiming for. Um, it didn't work out, so I just scrapped that idea eventually. You can see me trying to make it so it does an extra line. I don't know why it wasn't, it just didn't want to play ball for me. See, and then I try it here and it doesn't work there either. So instead I'm just going to put this in and make it look centered and it's just going to have a very thin line around it that's engraved. And then I need to make the words a bit smaller so that they are in fact going to fit within that line. And again, this is just a bit of a design thing. I was trying to be fancy in a very short amount of time. And so I'm going to set the laser at 100% power and 100 millimeters per second. I work in the per seconds just because it's easier than the per minutes and you don't need as big a numbers. Uh, and then you can also click, hold, and drag to change them into different orders. So it'll do what you want. Now, unfortunately for me, I did not set the others to cut. So it will just cut, and then we have to go back and do the engraving. But that's all right. 
So that bit of wood is just a really thin piece of wood that actually come as part of the laser when you get it. You get like all these materials to practice on. I had never used the practice materials. I went straight to like doing things. But we're going to use it today. Uh, so you can see there, it was pretty quick. I did speed it up quite a lot. And then I'm just using my little Dremel tool to sand those edges so that we don't have all of that charring. Um, if you leave the charring on, it will mark your book like that, like I just did on my hand. Uh, so we just go around. I move back and forth. Don't hold it anywhere for too long because we're just trying to get that discoloration off. And then we're all good. I'm going to go back over a little bit. Um, I also want to get the smoke discoloration off the edges. So I'm just, see, especially there. You can just lightly sand back and forth and it will take it off for you. And I'm just going to do the whole thing so it all looks even. And then we're going to do the other side. There is just a little bit of discoloration. And then we just thread your tassel through, loop it, and that one is done. So I did that. I was like, okay, that was too easy. Let's step it up a notch. So I've got some blue spray paint, and I'm just spray painting the top. And then I'm going to cut one with the paint on it. Um, I didn't change any of my settings. We did the um, same as before, and this also turned out wonderful. <laughs> 